Hello everyone. My name is Nityanand Shrivastava. I am a staff scientist at Albert Einstein College of Medicine, Bronx, New York, United States. My area of specialization is to development of effective immunotherapeutic system to minimize the tumor burden, specifically the colorectal cancer model. First of all, I would like to say thank you for giving me the opportunity for this very interesting presentation where I have collected some very relevant information regarding the funding opportunity at national and international level for medical innovation that support the medical innovators specifically in India. My presentation delves into the dynamic landscape of grants as catalyst for transformative medical innovation, shedding light on how these financial instruments propel research, development, and the ultimate delivery of cutting-edge healthcare solution, and how these fundings impact on shaping the trajectory of medical research and technology advancement. These funding opportunity definitely empower the researcher and also the institutions who is working on the various innovative ideas which could be very helpful for the betterment of global health system. So further going more delay, let us start with the basic of innovation. So what does innovation mean? Innovation refers to the process of creating and implementing new ideas, products, services, processes, or methods that result in significant improvement or changes in various aspects of society, economy, technology, or any other field of endeavor. It involves the transformation of creative concept into real solutions that bring about positive impact, whether by addressing existing challenges, improving efficiency, or creating entirely new opportunities. And if we define innovation in medical terms, then medical field is driven by a combination of scientific research, technological advancement, regulatory considerations, and the pursuit of better patient outcomes. These innovation basically aim to improve the prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and overall management of diseases and medical condition, also enhancing the quality of patient care. Medical innovation can take various forms, for example, ranging from new pharmaceutical drugs and medical devices to innovative surgical techniques, diagnostic tool, digital health solution, and even improvement in healthcare delivery systems. It often involves a multidisciplinary approach, bringing together professionals from medicine, science, engineering, technology, and various other fields to collaborate on developing groundbreaking solutions. And if medical innovation be successful, then it has the potential to revolutionize healthcare practices, extend life expectancy of the patient, enhance the effectiveness of treatment, and reduce the burden of disease on society. Therefore, medical innovation plays a very pivotal role in shaping the future of healthcare. And if you can think, what is the purpose of these medical innovation or what is the advantages of medical innovation? So there are the, some of the key advantages include digitization of data record or advancement of medical technology that reduces the invasive procedures and led to faster recovery time and reduce risk during medical interventions. Second, remote monitoring or increase access to healthcare. So some medical innovation focuses on making healthcare more accessible 
to remote populations or area. For example, telemedicine, mobile health apps, and remote monitoring technologies that improve healthcare access and delivery, bridging geographical gaps. Then third, improved communications. So medical innovation also lead to the development of new and more effective treatments, diagnostic tools, and therapy. These can be able to translate the better outcomes for patients, including increased survival rate, reduce pain and discomfort, and improve quality of patient life. Then four, better treatment options or enhanced disease prevention or early detections. So the innovative technologies in medical innovation successfully align healthcare providers to identify health issues at their earliest stages that can be very helpful to treat these diseases at a very early stage. This contribute to higher chances of a successful treatment and reduce healthcare costs. Then fourth, the most important, cost reduction. While initial in investment in medical innovation can be substantial, successful innovation often results in long-term cost savings. This includes shorter ho hospital space, reduce complications, and optimize resource utilization. Then sixth, increased eff efficiency or easier workflow. So innovation, for example, innovation in genomics and molecular diagnostics have paved the path for personalized medicine where treatment are tailored to an individu individual genetic makeup and unique characteristic. This approach increases the treatment efficacy and reduces adverse reactions. So these are the key advantages. Apart from that, there are certain other advantages also that includes research and development progress, economic growth for individual country, global health impact, long-term sustainability, education advancement, and empowerment of patients. Because of these medical advantages, we can clearly say that medical innovation is the foundation of resilient healthcare system. And if we can talk about the resilient healthcare system, resilient healthcare system are those that can effectively respond to challenges, adopt changes, and continue to provide high quality care to patients even in the face of unexpected disruptions or evolving healthcare needs. So in this pictorial diagram, you can clearly see that how the medical innovation involved to improve the quality of healthcare system and also reduces the cost of burden of the treatment, increases the patient safety, increases efficiency of the treatment and also it could involve to induce or increases the patient outcomes. In, in terms in the patient consideration, you can see that it medical in innovation could also increase the treatment options, diagnostic option, prevention, it increases the prevention of the diseases, enhances the educational plan, research, and also the treatment option. And because of involvement of information technology, it can also provide or helpful to the healthcare practitioners and providers to maintain the individual data records in a very effective manner. So how this medical innovation actually involve in the foundation? So this is the, this, these are the, these are the basis, but if you can see in the more detail, so, so let me explain that these medical innovation also involve in adaptation to changing needs. That means it rap rapidly adopt to changing medical needs 
and emerging health fields. It also responds to the global health crisis as we are just passed through the pandemic of COVID. And during this, any global health crisis such as pandemics or epidemics, medical innovation play a very critical role in developing diagnostics, treatment and vaccine. As we know and as we saw that in during COVID, how these medical innovations are helpful to develop several diagnostic tools, vaccines that also that also keep the population safe. So these innovations are very vital in controlling and mitigating the impact of such crisis. Then it also involves in technological advancement. So the integration of information technology into healthcare enhances the efficiency, accuracy, and patient engagement. These innovations like electronic health record, telemedicine, and remote monitoring system ensure healthcare service can be delivered both in person or virtual. So then the second, the other things like resource optimizations, like innovation in medical devices and procedures help healthcare providers optimize resource utilizations. These include minimizing the need of hospitalization, reducing procedure time, and using resources more efficiently. It also enhances preparedness, data-driven decision-making, preventing and predictive approaches, cross-disciplinary collaborations, continuous learning and improvement, global partnership, like collaborative innovation efforts between countries, organizations, and research institutions contribute to shared knowledge, resources, and expertise, which strengthens global healthcare capabilities. So in this slide, I just want to explain how medical innovation involve with the emerging technologies. So a robust framework for medical innovation with emerging technology involves a systematic approach to integrating new and advanced technologies into the healthcare sector. This framework combines innovation strategies, regulatory consideration, collaboration, and ethical consideration to drive the successful development and adoption of cutting edge medical solution. So here are the some examples of the emerging technology that is associated or that act as a bridge to to develop a to develop and strong make a strong healthcare system with the help of the medical innovation framework. So for example that like 3D printing, mobile health system, artificial intelligence, big data analysis, then internet of medical things, robotics, wearables, and 3D image. So these are the emerging technology that is affiliated with the medical innovation framework. How we can develop a successful medical innovation? So here are the some key strategies that can be fostered to develop successful medical innovation. So the first thing is the medical device concept. So in this, you have to be a very clear concept and you have to put the patient, healthcare providers and end user at the center of innovation process to understand their needs, pain points and preferences to develop solution that truly address their challenges. Then also, it also involves the open innovation, means to collaborate with external partners, including research institutions, startup and technology companies. Then also, we have to develop a very strong team that 
build a diverse team with member of from different disciplines such as medicine engineering data science and design the intersection of expertise leads to creative problem solving and holistic solution then third then the next important thing is rapid prototyping so it, to develop a quick prototype or minimum viable product to test the concept that you have in your mind and gather feedback early in the process so this iterative approach reduces the risk and ensures that the final product meet your needs then regulatory expertise also it is very important to dev to develop a successful medical image so regulatory expert from the beginning to ensure compliance with relevant standards and regulations and early engagement with regulators can prevent delays and ensure a smoother approvals then ethical ethical consideration also it is very important to address the ethical concerns related to patient privacy data security potential social implications and these ethical considerations are critical for gaining public trust and acceptance and continuous learning to encourage the team members to stay updated on the latest research technologies and best practices in their respective field and if any innovation there is definitely a risk so you have to be careful with the risk management we have to be develop the risk management so identify and assess potential risks associated with the innovation such as safety concern technical challenges or market viability this develop mitigation strategies to address these risk then you will know you should be the clinical trial means patient engagement so basically it involve patient in the innovation process to gain insight feedback and perspectives patient engagement enhances the relevance and usability of the final product then branding and market analysis also so conduct through market research to understand the demand competition and potential barriers to adoption for your innovation this helps refine your value proposition and business model apart from this you have to be also make a strategy for pilot testing and long term business so by applying these strategies organization and individuals can navigate the complex cities of medical innovation and increase the likelihood of developing impactful solution that improve healthcare outcomes and patient experience apart from these strategies the most important because my talk is basically focused on funding opportunity for medical innovation and as we are aware that funding is a crucial element for driving any medical innovation activity and various sources provide financial support to research or researchers entrepreneurs and organizations that working on the innovative healthcare solution so my further talk basically focus on what are the funding opportunity available across the world but mostly i will focus in india what are the funding opportunities available so when seeking funding from for medical innovation activity it is important to research and identify the most relevant funding sources based on the nature of your project it is stage of development and your target audience each funding source may have specific criteria application processes and expectations for outcome so tailoring your approach is a key to securing the necessary financial support so some of the important sources of funding 
for medical innovation activities. I have given here, like first, the government grants and funding agencies, private foundations, corporate partnership and venture capital, business angel investors and angel networks, accelerators and incubators, your own funds for startups, research grants and professional societies, academic institutions and research grants, public and private partnership, equity, government innovation program, family and friend support, and crowdfunding. So here are the, some of the opportunities that are available in India for a medical innovation fund and other innovation program and is supported by the central government. So the first is biotechnology ignition grant scheme. It supports innovative people and new startup business. The money award is approx 5 million in Indian currency and its proposal announced twice a year and is open uh, for about 45 days. Then second is Aspire, that aim of fostering innovation for unmet social needs in agro-business sector and establish a network of technology canters and incubation canters across India. The grant money is around 100 lakh or 100% cost of the equipment. Then Third is design clinic scheme to establish, this is a training scheme to establish a continuing training and skill sets in order to construct a sustainable design ecosystem. In accordance with this program, the government is paying around 60,000 INR for design seminars attended and up to 3.7 lakhs when the seminar is led by the startup. Fourth is credit guarantee scheme. This program was introduced by the inter Indian government to help the startup industry. And every qualifying beneficiary is given a credit guarantee for up to five crores, which covers financial aid, such as working capital, debentures, term loans, venture capital, etc. The first is very interesting grant that for the beginners, a startup in India seed fund. This is for funding the project which are at initial stages of product development cycle. These awards do not require any preliminary data and it provide an opportunity to test particularly the bold ideas for the bold people who want to play a dare game and is grant up to rupees 50 lakhs for a period of 18 months. So this is the grant that 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 can be for the ambitious person who want to execute their ideas. Then six is Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana in order to provide lending opportunities and support the expansion of small enterprises in rural areas, banks. This program was launched by the government to assist India the small enterprises. Mudra banks offer a small business and entrepreneurs the startup loans of up to 10 lakhs. Then Atal Innovation Mission. This mission has aim or goal to develop a platform for academicians, businessmen, and the government to collaborate in order to forge alliances and secure funding for the commercialization of ideas and Tata Trust that offers grant and funding opportunities for projects related to public health, healthcare innovation and medical research. Then National Innovation Foundation, NIF that support grassroots innovation including those related to healthcare and medical technology. Social Alpha that provides funding, mentorship and resources to a startup working on impactful healthcare innovation. And 11 is Medical Innovation Fund for support from by Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR. So this scheme will be open to only the council scientists and the experiment if provided rewarding based on initial experiment experience, the scope of the scheme 
will be enlarged by inviting joint proposal between ICMR laboratories on one hand and other scientific institutions across the India or universities on the other hand. That the tenure of this project will be normally two years, but it can be extended or terminated earlier in case of slow progress. On the other hand, the promising lead can be further supported. The grant is a is for uh, approx 10 lakh each year. And if the idea is successful and resource is internationally patented and protected, a person will be awarded with uh, 20,000 to 1 lakh rupees. So details you can get in the websites. Then R&D funding scheme. This is supported by the Department of Electronic and Information Technology, DT. India to the DSIR that approved company with R&D unit and this grant available for undertaking research pro projects relevant to electronic and information technologies. Then the multiplier grant scheme. This scheme particularly strengthens the linkage between the industry and institute and is supported by the Department of Electronic and Information Technology. The admissible in the project will be limited to 15% of the total project and grants are limited maximum of rupees 2 crore per project for individual in industry. Then is Center for Augmenting War with COVID-19 Health Crisis. So this is scheme launched during the COVID pandemic and this initiative provides grants and support to startups and companies working on technology to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Then other grants are like support for international patent protection in electronic and information technology. So this scheme is supported by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology that provide financial support to technology startups unit for international patent. So if the company want to patent their technology, so this scheme will provide the support and encourage them in innovation. And the financial assistance up to 15 lakh per invention and 15% of the cost required in filing and processing of the patent application internationally. Then Samrith scheme, so this is supported by the also the Ministry of Electronic and Information Technology and it supports the business financially while also assisting them in bringing together the skill sets necessary for their long term success. Then industry innovation program on medical electronics. So this grant is offered by the Department of Biotechnology DBT to validate academic biotechnology research with potential for commercialization. Then a small biotechnology industry partnership program, BIP. So this grant is also offered by the DBT to support high impact risk and transformational technology development in biotechnology. And it only open to the Indian promoters, not the others. Indian promoter who own at least 51% of the company shares. Then other interesting grant is Welcome Trust, DBT India Alliance. So this partnership between the Welcome Trust and Indian government provides the funding for biomedical research project, fellowship and clinical and public health research. And Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, also offers some grants. So this grant is supported by the CSIR and this grant is specifically open for expert or scientists that work in the private sector research lab and receive award or a stipend up to 30,000 per month as a research fellowship. Then research design and development of solar photovoltaic technology and solar thermal technology program. So this grant is basically offered by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and supports the project that involve the private sector are granted up to 50% of the project cost. Then project finance through the technology development board. So this scheme is basically offered by the DST, Department of Science and Technology. 
and provide financial assistance to house R&D units recognized by the TSIM. So if the person is who is innovative ideas who want to develop the R&D in house, so that that can be supported by the DSD. But this R&D should be recognized by the DSIR. Then Global Innovation and Technology Alliance, GITA. So this grant is also offered by the DSD and are supported internationally cooperation. The participant should be researcher or managers working for Indian companies, not the other outside the India. Then PRISTEP, Technopreneur Promotion Program. So this is also offered by the DSP for a startup firm funding to support them in developing and commercializing an innovative idea. The money is around 2 lakhs to 100 lakh depending upon the project idea. Then high risk and high reward research. So this grant is also supported by the DST to encourage and support innovative concept and ideas that have the potential to impact many areas of science and technology. The funds are around three years for three years, but in extraordinary circumstances, it may be extended up to five years. And zero defect is very interesting scheme, zero defect, zero effect scheme. So this is also of supported by the DST and aims to inspire manufacturer to produce better medical goods that are high quality, defect free and reliable. So the name of the scheme is also showing the zero defect, zero effect means it should have the high quality, defect free and highly reliable. Then Raja Ramanna Fellowship Scheme. So this grant is supported by the Department of Atomic Energy India and the main objective of this scheme is to utilize the services of active retired scientists, engineers and technologists who have been involved in high quality research in their specialized discipline in the units of the DAE. So that is a very interesting grant for the retired who want to be pursue his innovative idea after the retirement program, after the retirement. So this is a very interesting grant for the retired scientists, engineers and technologists. So then the Homi Baba Chair scheme. So this grant is supported by the Department of Atomic Energy also and provides opportunity and recognition to outstanding scientists and engineers, including those retired and super innovative scientists who were involved in the development of profound and critical technology. That is also a very interesting grant. So then collaborative research scheme. This scheme is offered by the All India Council for Nature Technical Education to do collaborative research and build the community grants that provide for young tech faculties. So the other uh, grants are core research grants. So the this scheme provides core research support to active researchers to undertake research and development in frontier area of science and engineering. The condition is the applicant must be currently employed in a regular academic or research position in a national laboratory or a recognized academic institutions or another, any other R&D facility in India. And this funding is available normally for the period of three years. Then CERT Supra Scientific and Useful Profound Research Advancement. So this funding is given by given in Science and Education Regulatory Board for a period of three years. And this can be increased for two more years based on the performance assessment. The condition is the applicant must be currently employed in a regular academic or research position in national laboratory or in R&D facility in India. Then SERP Power Research Grant. This is encouraging eminent female researcher grants 
So this is especially for the female researchers to pursue their R&D project in cutting edge field of science and engineering through the individual centric and competitive funding model. And these grants are given in two categories, first for three years up to 60 lakhs and then three years to support up to 30 lakhs. Then accelerate Vigyan. This provides a big push to high-end scientific research and formulate scientific manpower, which can endeavor into the research careers and knowledge-based economy. So the other grants are the intensification of research in high priority areas that supports high priority areas where expertise from multiple disciplines and institutions is needed. Then startup research grants also that aims to assist researchers to initiate their research career in a new institution. And this is a two year grant that enables researchers work in frontier area of science and engineering. And grant is up to 30 lakhs plus overhead for a period of two years. Then Matrix that grants support to active researcher with good credential in mathematical science, right? theoretical sciences and quantitative social sciences. And the grant is up to two lakh per annum plus overheads for a period of three years. There are one state university research excellence grant that is stimulate collaboration for a high end research in state universities and colleges in order to build a healthy R&D ecosystem. This is for three year grant and the total amount of the research funding will be around 30 lakhs, including overhead. The uh, relevant websites that uh, where you can find the information about the medical innovation grant and funding in India. So you can go through these website to see what are the available grants and funds that is relevant to your projects and you can apply and you can get all the details here. Most important thing when you are seeking the fund for any innovation, what we should remember to apply is grants, not only in India, in across the world. So the first thing, each funding source may have a specific eligibility. So you have to be careful to read the criteria that match your projects. So each funding source may have a specific eligibility criteria, application deadlines and requirement. Then second, it's recommended to thoroughly review the guidelines and application process for each funding opportunity. And in addition, is staying updated with announcement from the government agencies, research organizations and innovation hubs that is crucial for identifying new funding opportunity in the rapidly evolving landscape of medical innovation in India. This slide I mentioned, try to collect all the information related to the opportunity of funding in India. And here I have collected some of the information uh, related to the funding opportunity in the US and where to apply for the medical innovation grants in the US. So these are the some relevant funding opportunities. So 2021 Preventive Health and Health Services Block Grant Program. You have to see that if the international candidates are eligible. And then National Institutes of Health Directors Transformative Research Award, NIH. Small Grants Program, NIDCD Research Grants, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Grand Challenges Exploration, Gate Foundation, National Science Foundation in United States. So these are the grants available in the United States. You can see the eligibility through the websites. Here are the uh, grants that is provided by the NIDCD in collaboration with NIH, National Institute of Health. So these are the grants, research project grant, Stephen one cat early stage investigator research project grant, NIH research enhancement award, early career research award. So you have to go through with this website to find the more details and see what are the eligibility criteria. 
the international funding sources that you can also see. So first is World Health WHO, World Health Organization Innovation Challenges Program, European Commission Horizon Europe, Global Innovation Fund, Innovate UK, United Kingdom, the Lamb Lesson Foundation, MIT Solve Challenges, Google AI Impact Challenge Program, Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, African Academy of Sciences, Grand Challenges Africa Grant Program, Asian Development Bank, Tech Innovation Challenge, Susan, Medical Innovation serves as the cornerstone of healthcare systems resilience, enabling them to adopt, evolve, and effectively respond to both anticipated and unforeseen challenges. Medical innovation can ensure the highest quality of care for patients while maintaining the flexibility and readiness for whatever the future may hold. When seeking funding for medical innovation activity, it is pertinent to research and identify the most relevant funding sources from various organizations across the world and institutions that support the advancement in healthcare and medical technology based on the nature of the project. It is stage of development and your target audience. Here I am ending my presentation with a big thank you for listening and always be innovative because you know innovation is part of hope. Where there is a innovation, there is a hope to for a better life, for a better health, for a better life. So always be innovative. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy my slide and hope this information can be useful for all the innovators who are going to see this presentation. Thank you so much. Have a nice and wonderful rest of the day.